This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. It, it's it's one of those where there's frustrations, and there is um a lot of uh hypocrisy a lot of lying a lot of uh deceiving trying to mislead you you know it's funny like i i watch jp morgan talk about what's going on with bank suisse and they're losing their ass right now in switzerland and uh the bank uh and jp morgan's like no they're uh they're they're sound financially this and that and a lot of people are questioning it and, and meanwhile, J.P. Morgan is a bunch of lying scums because they tell people in the United States that don't buy Bitcoin. And then in Europe, they're scooping up all the Bitcoin as much as they can. So it's just one of those where, you know, it's it's all about lying and deceiving in this world. A lot of it. And they tell you one thing, but they're doing something else. And this that's what's going on with the whole Tua situation. It's the same thing that's going on with the Tua situation. And everybody has created a controversy bigger than what it really is. Is head trauma a problem in the NFL? Yeah. And, and, so are, and so are crimes against women. I don't know if you know that, but, you know, crime against women doesn't really, it's not something that's taken that seriously in the NFL. They're, they're, they're taking it more serious now. Just like head trauma. They were taking it more serious, but you know, anybody tied to the league is not going to tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? Anybody tied to a team is not going to tell you the truth. So, you know, it, it's, this is all a bunch of crap is what it's turned into. And this is a way for people to get on their high horse. Their protocols probably weren't good enough still because it's just like the way they approach crime against women. It's never good enough. The cry, the, the pay, the price you pay is nothing compared to the crime you're committing. And the NFL has done this forever, forever. They've done this and they continue to do this. And in this case, let's break it all down for you. Now, are you ready? So they fired the doctor, didn't they? That went through their protocols to clear Tua. And, you know, this whole thing about, well, he shouldn't have come back, this, that. He threw a 50-yard dime, dude, when he came back. Maybe Tua's actually tougher, or not tougher, he is more durable head-wise than Seathan Carter is. Seathan suffered a, a, a concussion. He's been out for three weeks. Maybe this guy shakes it off a lot quicker than other people. Our DNAs are all different. So maybe he cleared concussion protocol at that moment. And he went in. Those are the rules. Now, you want to change them. Well, that's fine. So if this guy or woman failed and and were, was irresponsible in letting Tua play again on Sunday in that Bills game. Okay, so I would imagine now, right, folks? Here's what happens, right, with malpractice. Is there a lawsuit coming? Is the NFL suing the doctor? Is the NFL PA suing the doctor? Is Tua suing the doctor? Is the doctor going to sue them for maybe, you know, reputation? or Because we don't know the name yet, but still, within doctor circles, they're going to know. That, that that there's not a a HIPAA going to protect you from that, and client uh, privilege and all that bullshit that'll get out. So is is the doctor going to sue them for saying no 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 screw you you you're not fi you fired me uh, wrong I I followed all your protocols and he cleared them. So where's the lawsuits? Anybody talking about that? Because that's usually what happens with malpractice, right? If there's some malpractice here, well, then to his, to his attorneys, agent, lawyers, whatever, should be working up on a lawsuit here. The NFLPA should be doing it. The NFL should do it. The doctors should do it. So I want to hear it. Are they going to tell you where he screwed up? No, of course not. Why? Because they'll use the HIPAA bullshit on you. This is all a bunch of bogus crap 
This is just like suspending Ray Rice for two games. <gasps> they found the video. Oh, no, no, it's now, now 12 for the rest of the season. That's all this is. You caught us. Oh, my God. And in the end, there's no one to blame for all of this but Tua. You all can get on your high horses and talk about the NFL's concussion protocol and this and that, and he should have come back to the game on Sunday after he was playing just fine and all that kind of stuff, and then he shouldn't have played on Thursday, but he was playing fine on Sunday fresh off of the, 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 the hit on the head. Hey, man, I had a second-degree concussion. I was fine by a week later. I had some, I had some fuzziness, I had some headaches. But I was fine. Within a week, I was fine. Normal. Back to normal again. Boom. No other effects. I was done. I was driving a 24-foot U-Haul with, with my 280ZX on a flatbed. This happened to me 30 years ago. Or 25, whatever. 25 years ago. I'm fine. I was fine within a week. I was fine. So what do you, what do you want to do? How much you want to blow this thing up? I love Tua. I'm a big Tua supporter. I'm a big Tua believer. He hung on to the ball too long. That was the answer on Thursday. It's not what happened on Sunday. It's not all the bullshit that they're all creating now and people that are acting like they really care about Tua and this and that and all. And meanwhile, T. Higgins, are they, isn't it two concussions in four weeks or three weeks or something for T. Higgins? So what's the deal? A concussion, then he got dinged, and then he came back. And nobody's investigating that. And you got coaches talking, oh, well, you can't put the player back. And they've all done the same shit, dude. It, it's This is all just crap, dude. This is sensationalism at its finest. That's all. This is a way for them to create a controversy. And then the news can get involved with uh, the NFL and head trauma and this and that. And really, in the end, my brother and sisters out there, I have to blame Tua and nobody else. Stop hanging on to the goddamn ball, Tua. Stop hanging on to the goddamn ball. That's why you blew out your ankle. That's why you blew out your hip. That's why you suffered this concussion. And against New England in week one, you almost committed turnovers and maybe even injured yourself because you tried to keep a couple of, a couple of plays alive. There's no one to blame here. Not the head coach, not the Dolphins, not the doctors, not the NFL. No one but Tua Tunga Vai Loa. Tua created this problem like he has others for himself. As much as I'm going to defend Tua as a player, okay? I'll defend him as a player to the end of time. His injury history, you can't defend it. But most of his injury history is on his terrible decisions. Not the decision of Mike McDaniel to put him back in the game because he was fine. He played well. And he was ready to go on Thursday. Just don't hang on to the goddamn ball. Anybody want to hear the truth? Or do you all want to get on your high horses and create a whole bunch of bullshit for nothing? Because that's all it is. It's a way for us to get clicks. It's a way for us to sensationalize it. It's a way for us to get more people to watch Get Up Here at this moment and whatever other, ever other stupid show that you guys watch out there where they just create controversy to create controversy. Where the producers in the morning say, who's taking one side and who's taking the other? Whether they believe it or they don't, and that's the shit you watch every single day. And that's the crap you come back to me and say, hey, did you hear what this guy said? I hear that guy. Clickbait. Way to go, dude. Nice job, ladies and gentlemen. Way to be that weighted fish in a fish competition.
Anybody want to hear the truth? Anybody? Does anybody want to hear the truth? The kid came back and was lights out against Buffalo. Lights out. Some guys can play with a broken back. Some guys can play with a broken leg. Some guys will come back from a from a from a concussion or a bell rung or a back or whatever the hell it is. Some guys are tougher than others. So the kid came back and he was balling and he was dealing on on Thursday, but he hung on to the goddamn ball. That's it. That's all that happened. He created this problem himself, not anyone else. That's all. End of story. Now you got to put him off for a couple weeks because of what's happened in five days. But the only reason you're in this mess, it's because of the same bad decisions that he has made throughout his career. The hero ball bullshit needs to stop for Tua. He's not built like Ben Roethlisberger. He's not built like Cam Newton. He's going to get ragdolled. And he's going to get squashed when he gets hit. That's why Greasy stayed away from hits. That's why Breeze stays away from hits. That's why Joe Montana stayed away from hits until late in his career when he got whacked in his back. And that that's it was so bad that San Francisco said, yeah, no, we got this guy, Steve Young, and your back's kind of like uh, Peyton Manning's neck. We're moving on. And he got traded to, to Kansas City, and he still took Kansas City to the playoffs. Broken back and all, but he was playing. That's his choice. That's his choice. You know, it's, it's funny because um, yesterday, J.J. Watt, tweeted out um that he got he got his heart um it was out of rhythm and he got shocked and got it back in rhythm and that he's playing this week so he tweets out that he got word that his personal information is is getting out and that before you hear from somebody else hear it from him most people would freak out what do you mean he had this heart condition and he and he and he got in rhythm back in and he's playing football it's his choice I'm sorry. Uh, are you um, are you worried about every cop that goes out on the on on the beat today? Because their their lives are on the line every day. That's their choice. Or are you are you worried about the firemen or firewomen? Because they risk their lives every time they run into a damn building that's on fire. It's their choice. We send kids, you know, teenagers, early twenties. We put a rifle in their hand and we say, go defend our country. It's their choice. Not in Russia, but here it's their choice. People put their lives on the line all the time. Race car drivers getting behind the wheel. Could be the last time they race. It's their choice. So where is all the up in arms when a cop dies? When a fireman dies? Well, where is it? No, we'll just have a funeral procession with uh, the the cops that work with him, family members, and hey, we'll put it on Channel 7 for a couple of minutes, and then we're done. And then we forget about it. And then the next cop dies five minutes later. And the next one dies five minutes later. And the next one dies five minutes later. It's their choice. They play football. It's a dangerous sport. Eric Lindros continued to play hockey, and every concussion was head rattling, and it became bigger and bigger, and he was out longer and longer and longer every time. Everyone's different. Zonka probably had a couple of concussions every week. <laughs> And he probably brushed it off and de and delivered a few more concussions to other people, because there's no the way Zonka ran. <laughs> you can bet your ass he had concussions, and their and their equipment really sucked compared to the equipment now. Everybody's wired differently, so 
Tua got his bell rung on that Sunday, and he might have gone in, and he passed their protocols. Now, if your NFL protocols are weak, that's your goddamn problem. But now you want to fire the doctor because it's a crap show. So you've got to now sell this to everybody that you're doing something about it and that you care about these players. Get the hell out of here, dude. It just, you screwed up. You screwed up in front of everybody. It looks so bad. And now you've got to, you know, the PR game. Oh, let's find a scapegoat. Let's fire the doctor. That's why I'm telling you, where are the lawsuits? Because it sounds like malpractice to me. Doesn't it sound like malpractice to you? Because that's what they want to make it sound all over the place. Malpractice. You got to be really, really smart nowadays to kind of read through all the bull crap that goes on on a consistent basis in this world. You really do, man. You got to be like that. Oh, my God. Freaking amazing. No one to blame but to him. And I, I, I'm telling you, the first time he has a press conference, I will be there. I will be there, and I will ask that question, and I will ask it like no one has ever asked it before. I will put him in a corner where he has to answer it. And I will follow up until he answers the question. I'm not going to let him dodge the question because it's too important to his life. It's too important to his family. It's too important to his coaching staff, the players. Screw the media. We don't count. And the fans, they're on the periphery. To us to worry about making these bad decisions for his family, his wife now, the, his coaches, and his players. That's who he's letting down. Yeah, he lets down the fans eventually. I get all of that. But really, those people that are around them that are depending on him, you got to start making better decisions, dude. You want to have a long career? Because I want you to have a long career because we haven't had a we haven't had a quarterback here since Marino. This dude's a baller. This dude's a quarterback. This is a real quarterback here. But he's got to do his part, man. I'm not I'm not sitting here. You, listen, you guys want to go listen to those other stupid ass talk shows that want to lay blame on everybody else? You go ahead and do that, man. I, I speak what I feel is honesty here. What I think is the truth is what I'm going to be talking. I may not be right all the time. I may be wrong sometimes. I'm a human being. But here, this is elementary, my dear Watson. The only one I'm blaming here is Tua and no one else whatsoever to have put himself in this position. And he has to stop putting himself in this position. And this, in the media, probably to his biggest supporter. But as you all know out there, I don't mince words, and I don't play the politics and all that kind of stuff. and. Others might be willing to do that bullshit, but that's not who I am. That's never been who I am, and I won't be that way. And it's worked out fine for me. It's not an easy road, but I'd rather ha I'd ra I'd rather have my pride, and I'd rather have I'd rather do it my way, as uh, as someone famously put once. Oh, blue eyes! I'd rather do it my way than if I'm not going to do it my way, then I won't do it at all. And that's it. So I don't need, I'm not tied to any corporate crap. I'm not tied to a team. I'm not tied to the NFL. I don't get my, my checks from them. I don't worry. I don't, not that I ever worried about politics in the first place. Okay. Never worried about that anyways. I don't care. I call it like I see it. And as much as I'm a to a guy, He's got to stop taking hits. He's got to get rid of the ball when the play is over. That's where this whole problem comes from. Don't point the fingers at anyone else. I don't care about the concussion protocol of the NFL. That's their problem. I mean, they constantly screw up, but they're the Teflon League. They don't, none of this will affect them. 
ever. Nothing ever affects them. They just roll on, dude. We will you ever find out what's really with the Snyder stuff? And what do you think? You don't find out about the Snyder stuff, huh? But why? Why do you think? Come on, man. You know, let's not let's not let's let's not get naive here. And that's the problem. Too much naive naivete going on in the world. This is the big O show. This is the big O show.